Okay, so there's our elixir. Mmm, just like mama used to make. <laughs> uh, it's an acquired taste, definitely. Hi, I'm Dr. Scott Jan, and today I'm going to teach you how to unclog your arteries. So arteriosclerosis is a placking or fattening uh, it's building up on the arterial walls. And this happens because the arterial walls get little scars on them because either the collagen's not built up because of inflammation, sugar causing damage. So you get plaques that build up and eventually they close down the arteries and it's going to lead to things like atherosclerosis and it could break off into something called a thrombus. If that goes to your brain, it'll cause something called a stroke. If that thrombus breaks off and gets to your heart, you get a heart attack. If it goes to your lungs, you get embolism. So we're going to teach you today how to unclog your arteries. And here's what you'll need. I'm going to use one tablespoon of honey. And honey's also been uh, shown to be a powerful antioxidant, antibacterial, antifungal, as well as have antiviral properties. Now, if you're a diabetic, you might want to cut out the honey and uh, substitute something like stevia, which uh, won't raise your blood sugar. One tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar helps lower triglycerides, also lowers blood pressure, and helps stabilize blood sugar levels. Apple cider vinegar has also been shown to lower the bad LDLs. A half a lemon for the vitamin C. Vitamin C has been widely researched uh, to increase your immune function. It also helps flush toxins. Now, for those of you who have watched my earlier video, uh, the webinar on uh, cardi cardiovascular disease, know that <clears throat> vitamin C is one of the key ingredients to uh, making collagen, which is going to help strengthen your arteries. You also need glycine, lysine, and proline. I'm going to provide a list of foods that are rich in lysine and proline in the description. Glycine, the body will make itself, so you don't really need to worry about that. But if you, you need to get plenty of lysine, proline, and vitamin C for collagen. Now, collagen is the most uh, abundant protein in the body, so it's also going to help uh, tonify your skin as well, so it's an added bonus. We're also going to need ginger. Now research has shown that ginger plays a role in maintaining heart health. It's anti-inflammatory, it's an antioxidant, and we uh, recall again from our webinar that oxidation of those uh, fragile LDL molecules causes damage and that's what's going to cause the placking. Ginger also is antiplatelet. Now, platelets will cause thickening of the blood, and when you have thick blood, that's when we can get that thrombus. That's why doctors recommend a, uh, a baby aspirin a day for antiplatelet activity. Ginger is going to do the same thing, only without the harmful side effects. Ginger is also uh, hypotensive and hypolipidemic. Okay? These effects have all been scientifically proven. Next, we have garlic. Now, garlic, as we uh, talked about, it has something called allicin in that. Its preparations have been widely recognized as an agent for preventing and treating cardiovascular disease and other metabolic disease like atherosclerosis, hyperlipidemia, thrombosis, hypertension, and diabetes. We're going to use uh, one to two uh, teaspoons of turmeric. And turmeric is probably one of the most powerful spices in the world. It has anti-inflammatory properties. It's also antiviral, antifungal, and antibacterial. It's uh, cardio-supportive and very good for you if we add a little pepper to increase the bioavailability. I'm going to use some cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper has been shown to reduce the bad LDL cholesterol and triglyceride levels. And it prevents oxidation, which is going to be cardioprotective. Okay, uh, cayenne pepper can be a little bit hard to dissolve, so sometimes a good trick is to dissolve it in a little bit of water first. Okay, you heat the water on the stove, you add the cayenne pepper until it dissolves, and then you can add that mixture. Okay, um, so let's get started. So I went ahead and peeled my turmeric. Now, you can use turmeric uh, powder, but I always like fresh. Fresh is always best. So we're going to use about maybe inch, inch and a half of turmeric. We're also going to use about an inch, inch and a half of garlic. I mean, not garlic. <laughs> oh, sorry. We are also going to use an inch, an inch and a half of, of ginger. And we're going to use one clove of garlic. Now, with garlic, it is extremely important that we get a knife and we give it a little smush like that right by smushing the garlic it's going to activate the active ingredient called allicin 
Allicin is the protective property that's going to uh, be cardioprotective. Now you want to let it sit for a, a minute or so to activate that allicin. If you try and cook with the garlic or you leave it sitting out too long, the allicin will degrade and it won't be useful to helping unclog your arteries. All right. So we're going to use a Cuisinart and we're going to, we have our half squeezed lemon. We're going to throw that in there. We're going to use a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. We're going to use a tablespoon of raw organic local honey. Now it's good to use local honey because local honey have used bees that have been pollinating local plants. So if you have allergies, usually the allergies are from pollen in uh, the area. So the bees will pollinate those the flowers and make honey and this will kind of act like almost a vaccine from, uh, from the local pollen. And it's always good to be patient with honey. Can't rush good things. So when we talk about honey while we're waiting for it, there's a, there's a good little trick that you can do to see if your honey is actually real or if it's been processed. A lot of honey these days that you buy on the shelves is processed and not actually real honey. <clears throat> and the way you do that is you take a little bit of honey and you put it in a bowl and then you put some water over it and then you swish the water around. And natural honey will make like a honeycomb in the bottom of that, uh, that bowl. Uh, if it's artificial honey or synthetic, it won't make uh, honeycombs. All right, we got our honey in there. Kinda. All right. Done. Now we're gonna use a little cayenne pepper. We're going to use a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Get in there. And we're going to put a little bit of pepper in there because you need pepper to activate the turmeric. Right? Turmeric uh, will become bioavailable if we add a little pepper. So we're going to just grind a little bit of pepper in there. Good to go. And we're going to put about eight or 10 ounces of water. Yeah, that's about, about right. And put that on. And now we're going to add our other ingredients. you're drinking this, it's good to start slowly because if you drink too much of it too fast before your body's ready, you will probably be in the bathroom more than you want to be. <laughs> so start with it, uh, maybe like a few sips, see how you do and put the rest in the fridge. And then if you're okay, increase your dosage gradually as you see fit. So there's our elixir. Mmm, it's like mama used to make. <laughs> uh, it's an acquired taste, definitely. It's got a little kick to it from the cayenne pepper, but it's going to unclog your arteries, right? So all those years and years of, of abusing our bodies with alcohol, sugar, McDonald's, this won't actually erase all of that, but it's a good step to starting to unclog that and taking care of yourself. I'll see you next time for another tip on how to have a healthy and healthy lifestyle. <laughs>